Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Physio Trends and this is me Physio Brain Shah. This video I am going to talk about ECG interpretation and what are the abnormalities that we can find out in the ECG. If you have missed out on the information given on the first part of this video which in which I have told about what is ECG, what are the significance of PQRST waves and how to identify those please go and watch that video from this link. And this video, I'm going to continue with the information about ECG and moreover concentrated to the abnormalities of the ECG and heart activities. So first thing first, we are going to learn about the heart blocks, that how to identify heart blocks in ECG. So there are mainly three degrees of heart block, first degree, second degree, and third degree. First degree heart block, we will identify if there is any delay in the PR interval. So PR interval, if you remember from the last video, I told you all that the normal duration is 0.12 to 0.20 milliseconds. If it increases from there, but still the heartbeat is not dropping for the patient, it is still normal, we consider it as the level 1 or grade 1 heart block. In second degree heart block, it happens that PR interval is normal, but the heartbeat is dropping for the patient, so that we consider it as second degree heart and if you are finding out no relationship between the P and QRS complex, P wave and QRS complex, that is considered as a third degree heart block and which can be a medical emergency as well for the patient. Now let's discuss what happens to ECG when a person is exercising and which is considered normal. So let's discuss first with the P wave. P wave height normally increases during exercise, which is completely normal. R wave height goes down, again that is also completely normal. Next is ST segment, ST segment we will see a quick upsloping during exercises which is also considered normal. Talking about QT interval, QT interval also decreases and T wave also reduces in the size. Now I hope that you all remember what does P wave, Q wave, R wave, S wave and T wave signifies. If you don't remember it, you can go back to my first video and check it out, all the information about it. Alright, now let's look into the abnormalities that we can observe during exercise of the patient because this is very important for us, especially when you are treating a patient post CABG, post MI or patient who is having high risk of getting any heart conditions. So in this also let's start with the P wave. If P wave goes missing during exercise, which means that atrial depolarization is very less, then it can be at high risk for the patient. Now let's talk about the ST segment. If ST segment depresses more than 2 millimeters, it can be high risk. Now ST segment basically uh, signifies what? That it is a beginning of repolarization, right? So if it depresses, that repolarization is not occurring properly, then it can be, a patient can be at high risk. Now how to identify that it is going beyond 2 millimeters? So I already told you in last video that you just have to calculate the boxes. The small box, one small box means 1 millimeter. So if it is less than, more than 2 small boxes are going depression, it is considered high risk. Again, if ST segment is elevated more than 1 millimeter, that also can be at high risk for the patient because repolarization time, like starting of the repolarization time reduces in that. Apart from this, just now we discussed about the heart block. If it is like PR interval, it is decreasing, then again it can be a dangerous situation for the patient. So these are the abnormalities that we should uh, keep in mind while treating patient or while interpreting the ECG for better care of the patient. I really hope that this basic knowledge will help you all in interpreting the ECG and help out your patients in a better way. Apart from this, if you have any other doubts, do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for your times.